Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to disable the Windows Store or Microsoft Store in Windows 8 as well as Windows 10. So it should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first method I'm going to show is going to involve the local group policy editor, which is unfortunately not available in Windows 10 Home Edition. However, all versions of Windows 8 as well as Windows 10 excluding the Home Edition just should work for us, so that's why we're going to do the first, because generally speaking it's definitely a little bit easier here. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu, type in Group Policy. Best match should come back with Edit Group Policy. Left click on that one time. In the group policy, you want to expand computer configuration if it's not already expanded, and then expand administrative templates by either double clicking on the folder or left clicking the arrow next to it. Do the same thing now for Windows components, so expand that one as well. Now there should be a folder under here that says store, so left click on that. And now on the right side there should be something that says turn off the store application, double click on that. So now if you want to disable it, select enabled and then select apply and OK to save the change. So that was pretty straightforward, I like to think. So that should apply for almost everybody here except if you're running Windows 10 Home or if you want to do a little bit more difficult method just because, I will show you a second method for you everybody. And that would entail opening up the Start menu once again. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I'd highly suggest that you create a backup of it. So if anything ever went wrong, you could just recover back from the backup version. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. Go ahead and just left click on the file tab up at the top left, and then left click on export. File name, usually I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. If you ever needed to import it back in, just with left click on file and then select the import tab and then just navigate to the file wherever it may be on your computer. So pretty straightforward. So once you're done that, now you're ready to begin. So expand the HK local machine folder. So you double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Now that you've done that, now you want to do the same thing for the software folder, so expand that. Next one you want to look for is Policies, so expand that one as well. Now there should be a Microsoft folder, expand that. And finally there should be a Windows Store folder in here, so just off click on that folder one time. So there's a D word value already in here because we made a change to the Group Policy Editor. However, this would not be here if we didn't do that first method. So let's just pretend that it's not here for a second, so I'm just going to delete it. So let's say you're on Windows 10 Home and you don't have the ability to go through the Group Policy Editor. This is what you're more than likely going to see if you select the Windows Store. So now we're going to have to go create a value in here. So right click in a blank area over on the right panel, select New, and then DWORD 32-bit value. Name it Remove Windows Store, all one word. So again, Remove Windows Store, R and Remove, W in Windows, and S in Store should all be capital. Hit Enter on your keyboard. Now double click on that and change the value data to 1, so if it says 0, delete it, type the number 1 on your keyboard, make sure base is hexadecimal, and then left click on OK. So you might have noticed that this is the same value that was here before I deleted it, and that's because the group policy editor method automatically put this key in here, but unfortunately if you don't have the group policy editor, you, you have to kind of go the back way, as you see that I just did here. So pretty straightforward. If you did want to ever re-enable the Windows Store through the registry editor, you can just double click on this and just value data type 0 and then left click on OK. So that'll turn that off so Windows Store will become re-enabled. And where the group policy just set it to not defined and that would reverse what we did over there. So just putting on a couple different methods for you guys here. Do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.